I'm Gaz, and this is Let's Play RimWorld. This game was actually given to me as a review copy, and uh, while everyone has been playing this for years, I've actually only been playing this game for about a week. Um, I kind of missed out on the whole alpha beta thing, uh, but this is now 1.0, and I uh, am going to be playing this as part of my six-pack series, because I'm not super well-versed in the game, uh, I'm not going to be trying any crazy challenges or anything, just going to be screwing around for a few hours of a short series. Uh, I do have a few mods on, um, just actually only two. Uh, one allows you to create characters uh, with specific traits, I probably will not be using that, and the other is color coding the mood of your, uh, your colonists. Um, so, let's start a new colony, and I'm just going to be starting pretty much with the basic setup. I will be doing Cassandra Classic. I have not tried out any of the others. Um, like I said, I've only been playing this for a short while, so I'm still kind of learning the ropes. Uh, I guess we can start on medium. Medium is sort of the neutral, normal, this is where you start if you're starting a real game of RimWorld. Um, I will also be doing this, just so that I can have that for my let's playing and we'll be starting on the innards seed I suppose okay now because this is going to be only a six part series I think the episodes will be a little bit longer but uh, it also means I'm going to have to move along just a little bit faster than normal so I'm going to be skipping over a little bit of this stuff uh, while I find a suitable location um, come back when I found it and then we'll go into characters and all that stuff but I'm not going to uh, I'm not going to waste time on screen as I sit here and click and trying to find a good place so be back in a minute all right I think I found it here in the temperate forest right next to a very complex road system in small hills uh, with a pretty close to year-round growing season and there's some foraging uh, we have slate, marble, and limestone here, which I'm hoping will be uh, pretty decent. It's centrally located, so if we have to travel anywhere for a mission or an event, uh, we might be able to actually make it. I highly doubt my expeditions will make it very far. However, the trade-off is that we are kind of surrounded by uh, a lot of hostile encampments here, and our friends are kind of far away. So, we'll see how this works out. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and just look through these and figure out who I want to bring along. Alright, so I think here is our crew. Uh, Grumpy here actually was the best of the bunch. 24, so quite a while to live. And uh, as a teacher, and an herb world urchin, tough, kind, and a body purist has pretty good stats, pretty good spread all around. Uh, this was actually a natural role. The other two actually had to cheat a little bit and randomize to get something a little bit better because these are uh, these are not so great and I would like to have just a, a modicum of a chance of survival here so we have Matt Furious Freeman who's an apocalypse survivor and a veterinarian uh, <clears throat> he's abrasive and steadfast but also a good spread of uh, stats a good shooter uh, and second to grumpy actually um, but more importantly has uh, an affinity for animals and uh, a little bit of uh, plants, mining and construction. Uh, that, that's really kind of, if you look down here, we've actually kind of got a pretty good uh, spread on a lot of that stuff. Um, the best, though, of course, is Nina here, who has uh, an intellectual of 12, uh, being a Navy scientist. She's probably going to help out the most, in, uh, in at least in terms of research, but she's also very good at construction and mining, so she'll definitely be the builder and uh, constructor. We have two uh, five medicals, so that's pretty good. And it looks like Grumpy here is going to be our teacher. Uh, or, the teacher, obviously. Um, that's the profession. Um, our uh, trader is what I meant to say because of the, the higher social skills. Also pretty decent in melee, so now I'm kind of torn between giving Grumpy a gun and uh, instead of knife maybe since that is our uh, basic starting out uh, equipment <clears throat> so let's look at the people that uh, did not make the cut we have David here who's a medieval lordling um, pretty damn good at fighting and socializing not good at any damn thing else 
um, pretty bad actually. Trigger happy, even though he's more of a melee fighter. Then we've got uh, Eli here, who uh, is an organ farm. Uh, I, I guess uh, they grew up there. Uh, whatever. Became an inventor because of it. Incapable of being violent. Um, again, not much of a fighter. Then uh, medical crafting. Actually, that's something that uh, we're not very good at crafting. So that's actually something I did not look at too deeply. Uh, then we have Jacob here, who just doesn't like anybody. Staggeringly ugly, misandrist, and misogynist. And yet, very social. That makes uh, absolutely no sense. Much of a fighter, though. Medieval lordling, who later just became a postal worker, I guess. Um, then we got Tony. Tony? I don't know. Um, great memory. Actually pretty decent, aside from the fact that they're really only good as a doctor. Um, and then we had this one, Caroline? Caroline? Uh, whatever. I would have probably chosen her if she wasn't 94, therefore likely to die. And uh, she's also <laughs> a nudist and uh, highly neurotic and frail, so she's not very good. So anyway, uh, I said I wasn't going to waste time, and here I am wasting time. Let's go. Uh, I think we will possibly, potentially meet these people along the way, which is why I kind of looked through them. Uh, the game can kind of toss them in. I did have one game while I was uh, studying the game uh, where I met or had a uh, an event where I had to rescue a brother of one of the, the colonists. So here we are. Um, the cryosleep sarcophagi will land, and this is actually a very promising start here because we have a pre-built structure, which I can use immediately, and we have very fertile land right here, which makes for growing crops. Um, because of the small hills, we do have... Some of them, they are very far away from the center of the map. Um, so I will not be building a mountain home, and that looks like a chamber I would like to crack open. Maybe not right away. Uh, those tend to be very deadly, because they have a lot of the time sleeping soldiers, but a lot of the time uh, they are uh, unconscious or sick, and you can capture them and bring them back to base. Sometimes they also have uh, insects that will eat your face. So... I don't know, we might open the chamber just to see what's in it. It looks pretty large, which probably means there's a few of the uh, cryo chambers. Right now, though, that's not our, our main concern. We need to make sure that all the shit that landed with me is available to pick up so that my colonists can use it. Uh, we'll make sure we get the wood here and lots of steel lying around. Okay, good. So actually, I could carve into this. Uh, I don't know that that's necessarily going to save myself any time, seeing as how... Well, let's actually look at... I've got a 4 minor, a 7 minor, and a 4 minor. So, we probably want to avoid a lot of mining right now. Um, so actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a zone. We're going to make a dumping pile just outside here. Um, make it, I don't know, 8x8, eight eight, that's fine. And we're going to go ahead and switch this over so that it is only taking chunks. And that will allow me to clean out this. And I always forget where this stuff is at. Haul all of those. And how about we haul all of these? And we'll get some of that out of the way. And uh, okay, so that'll be good for now. Can you come over here and... I guess I can't clean that. Do I have to uh, claim this? Claim. Okay, so now can I go in and clean it? Oh well, whatever. Okay, so basically we, uh, we're just going to put in a wooden door. What is this anyway for just sandstone? So it's not going to be uh, where I want everyone to stay, obviously. I'm going to want to hopefully, this is all limestone, uh, be able to create Okay, we're, we're going to have to utilize marble chunks. Uh, going to be able to create um, marble rooms. Uh, that tends to be a thing that keeps your colonists happy. We also have slate structures out here. Probably, I might, might even want to just knock that open right there. I don't know that we'll extend that far up here. Um, 
I'll probably just end up building structures kind of around here. This is actually probably pretty vulnerable. I have not really played with the raiding mechanics too much. Um, oh, there's uranium over here. Whatever good that's going to be for me. Um, so as far as building a uh, highly defensible settlement, um, this is probably not so great. But anyway, uh, we need to get in here and we need to build a basic something. Get beds in there and we'll get a torch in here and an animal sleeping spot in this corner and we'll call that one good for now. So we got the wood over here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and build a just a temporary stockpile zone over here for all the rest of our goodies and then what? Then uh, we are going to need at the, the very least um, we're going to probably want so just limestone. So we don't have, we actually do have a few marble, but most of what I'm having them haul is not marble. Okay, well we'll probably just build out of wood for a while here, but uh, we probably want to get the growing zones started right away. Now there is a formula that you can use to determine uh, the ideal size of what you need. It's some formula like 10 times the number of colonists divided by the yield or something like that. Uh, I'm just going to start plunking things down and use them as we go. Now that may or may not be uh, the best or ideal, but uh, that's what I'm going to do anyway. What is that? Plasteel knife. There we go. I'm going to have uh, I'm going to have you pick up that knife, and we're going to have. Well, I don't know. Should Grumpy be the teacher or the veterinarian? Uh, apocalypse survivor. Yeah, you should probably just pick up the gun. Yeah, I guess I'll have Grumpy pick up all the other stuff. Now, I don't know if wearing all this stuff right now is going to have negative impact on... Uh, there should be some... I think you're sitting on it. There we go. So pick all that up. It will equip himself and be the soldier of the, the group here. Um, back to back to growing. Let's make a little bit of a growing zone real quick. Um, again, we'll just do like a seven by seven. Actually, an eight by eight is probably okay. Um, yeah, that's fine. And then, gonna do this, and then extend that out to be an eight by eight. The uh, the way you have to make the fields is kind of annoying because if you get too close while you're making one, it'll expand uh, the previous one, which is not terribly useful. Um, so you kind of have to fiddle with it a bit. So five will probably suffice. We want potatoes in one, we want rice in another, we want strawberries in another. None of us have that high of a skill, that's going to be a little bit of a problem. Well, we'll go for cotton then, and we're going to go for hops, and we're going to go for, I don't know, corn, I guess? I can't believe we don't have a, a skill for that. I mean, smoke leaf might be one, but with the hops, we're at least going to have alcohol, which I'm primarily going to try and use for my sale good. Um, I can make a little strip here and maybe a little strip here for smoke leaf and strip of something else. Um, maybe flowers? What is this good for? Oh, well, we could actually do that um, for uh, animals when and if we tame them. We could try taming one now. Uh, so we've got a, a thermal port over here, a geyser, uh, so we can have thermal energy around here. That'll be good. Um, another thing I want to do pretty pretty quickly here is set up rudimentary defenses. Just in case we get raided. And then, of course, we need to have some recreation, which I'll just plunk down right in the center. Right there. Okay, everybody go. We will allow them to do some things here. And there we go. 
So, Grumpy is doing what? Oh, he's just moving stuff to the stockpile. That's okay. Chase seems to have built a bed for herself. And no one else. There we go. Okay, what do we got over here? Go with that. Compacted steel. Well, that'll be nice. So we got more limestone chunks. Here's a uh, ship chunk that we can use. Yeah, I'm interested in that uranium, but I would actually prefer to see if I can't maybe find some silver. Here we go. Excellent. And there's boars up here. Well, so we got some hunting grounds anyway, but that silver is probably something I want to start digging into soon. Um, because then I can use that as currency. Chase is screwing around. Uh, let's see if we can't prioritize cleaning up a little bit. What else do we have here? We got a limestone chunk, but we got steel slag, steel slag, steel slag. We'll move some of that out. So the pet that I've been given is a cat. Not not terribly useful as an animal. Um, is there something I can do? Get obedience out of it? Maybe not yet. It doesn't look like. If we had a larger animal, I could use it for hauling, which uh, would be good for trading um, expeditions. And there are a ton of chunks around here. Uh, you've probably got your work cut out for you here, uh, making all these crops. Did I not tell you to haul some of that? Let's get that out of the way. Can haul that too, maybe? Okay. So, uh, this right here is not good. Deterioration. Uh, we need warm clothes. Why? Oh no. Cold season's coming already. That, uh, that is actually not very good for me. Okay, that lynx might also be an issue. <coughs> That's not very good at all, in fact. Um, so, what can we do about that? We're going to need to build some power probably build this right away and then I guess build a heater um, they're gonna freeze as they do stuff outside this is actually terrible uh, the time that we are we are starting here but uh, this might have to be my first priority usually I have some time before the terrible weather sets in um, definitely don't want to do a wind turbine so we'll go ahead and do that and then we will Put a uh, where is that where is that where is it? It's gonna have to go indoors here, and why don't we set it right next to the light? I guess, or I can just set it here. I don't know. This is only temporary. So I have to build that, and that means then. See, I was hoping we could use the cotton to eventually get that. We might have to start slaughtering a few other things. Um, while we're in the planning stage here, why don't we go ahead and start planning out a few other buildings I'm going to need. I'm going to make kind of like a town hall area. I was going to build kind of here. Actually, why don't we make more of like a commissary right here. So, get something, uh, get something right here. Yeah, you know, we'll do something like this. So, this doesn't have to be super big. I think that'll actually work. And then we're going to need... Well, actually, that'll, that'll probably work right there. So, like, a table is 4 by 2. It doesn't have to be, I suppose. Two, three, four. I just want, uh, just want people to be able to, to come in and uh, do their thing. So, we're going to need... Actually, this needs to go up just one more, doesn't it? Something like that, anyway. 
Um, I think that'll work. So right next to this god awful power generator, <laughs> uh, which I can, you know, obviously I can actually move that right now. We can build a copy and have it over here if we so desire. Actually, I could just have it inside the, the bunker, but then that that kills uh, my ability to use that defensively. In fact, this is probably not a very good location for this at all. It should really be more central to like a square or something. So why don't we why don't we just move that over anyway? We'll cancel that. Um, in fact, we can we can just cancel this whole damn thing and we'll move it over to this side. Um, actually, what I would like you to do, I think you're eating right now, but I would like you to finish cleaning this crap. And then we'll go into temperature, heater, let's put the heater right there. There. That's a little bit better use of uh, our resources there. So, we need to also now get into... Just building the place. And this is going to be my kitchen. And then, unfortunately, you can't just apparently use the uh, the chunks by themselves for walls, which is highly unfortunate. Um, okay, we don't need to worry about that right now. What we need to worry about is just getting the basics set up, and we might freeze to death before we even get that far. So. That'll be fun. I'm gonna go ahead and set up a wooden wall there. This is gonna end up being the freezer, so we can probably just use. I, mean, I kind of hate to use steel for this. But I'm not sure if it uh, insulates a little bit better or not. So we'll have those ready to build. We need to start moving this stuff indoors as well. So actually, I mean, what I could do here is I could just uh, build in inside of a, <laughs> a chamber here. I wonder. That's an awful lot of mining, but that'd be an interesting... What could I... I mean... I just end up creating a big mess in here. Maybe we'll just cancel all that. Um, although, yeah, why don't we go ahead and do that? We'll just try and mine out a spot here. Um, you know, for the sake of aesthetics, why don't we do we'll get that out of there, and we'll keep it kind of in a square. A little bit there. We'll end up chopping off these walls. These are what again? Limestone. So it's not a building material that's really going to be useful for me. But uh, maybe I can square this up or something. Yeah, whatever. We'll just go ahead and utilize this whole area in here like so. Now, actually, wait a minute, wait a minute. Before I go using this, someone just killed something. Ah, uh, okay. That lynx is probably going to be a problem. I don't know if I want to go hunting it right now, but it might be my first... my first kill that I have to use uh, to, uh, to slaughter. Um, what I was worried about here is temperature control. I don't think I'll worry about it right now, though. I think it'll be fine. There's another... Maybe hanging around it'll... Uh... It's male though, right? Yeah. Well, of course it is. It's a ram. Um, I was gonna say, if it's self-tamed, I could utilize that potentially for milk. So we appear to have used most of the uh, initial wood. Put 
Zone of Steel. Okay, so this is now going to be a zone. There we go. Zone for food. Nothing but food. Uh, take out the rotten. There we go. It's actually kind of small. Eventually we'll get a cooler in there. I think that should be enough for a while. However, okay. So we now have that. We're ready to do... That is not what I'm looking for. Production. Uh, butcher table. And a fueled stove. Uh, we also need to eventually... Hmm. Well, maybe I can just put one in here right now. Why don't we put one in here right now? Let's go ahead and fill itself in. It is currently 61, so uh, I think we're... 61 degrees, that is, so I think we're doing okay. I was kind of worried that these guys were going to freeze to death just a little bit. Why? Oh, because someone uh, someone swapped out their pants, that's why. We're going to go ahead and put a... I could put a steel door here. Does, does nobody else have uh, construction abilities? Yes, they do. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and turn on all of these. Uh, maybe not all of those anything with a little flame on it, because I want them to actually attempt to learn it. Um, now, obviously, what is a better choice is to go into the manual priorities, because then I can dictate... Uh... Yeah, it gets really cold at night. I mean, it's spring, so that makes a lot of sense, but... Probably end up smoothing out these walls eventually. Not very necessary at the moment. Let's see, we need to begin... I want to cook simple meals and do until we have... I don't know, 25? Who's our best cook? Well, it'll allow them to do it. Can I... Huh. So I can not... Oh, I can. There we go. Well, whatever. I'm just going to leave this as is for now. Um, and then they're going to have to do whatever. You know, now that I've got that, I could actually have turned that into an electrical stove, which might be better. Bad temperature. I didn't actually... What is the difference here? Two components. Well, that wouldn't actually be too bad. Um, let's go ahead and... and well, we don't need to deconstruct it, I guess. <laughs> I was just thinking, um, we're kind of low on fuel at the moment, so it might behoove me. You know what, let's go ahead and do that. We'll turn it into an electrical one. Um, I could also have an electrical, electrical light, but we'll just wait until the light runs out. Um, but over here, I'm going to go ahead and have a standing lamp there. Okay. I want these to be hauled. Um, prioritize hauling that, prioritize hauling that. Wasting a few of our resources trying to build that damn light. Okay. And then we can do power, uh, power conduit. And we'll just go ahead and bring one up into there, and one into there. And that should be close enough that I think it will electrify. We also want to go ahead and put in this electric stove. Hopefully we've got enough steel. If not, we can just go ahead and tear some out. Which will be fine. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, even though we don't have this damn thing built properly yet, I'm just going to go ahead and use this as a stockpile. And we're going to go ahead and just, I guess, delete this. So now that we'll start to move things in there, hopefully. Going for a walk. Well, I guess everybody needs a little bit of something. Chase Charmed Furious by 
telling a story about practicing chess. Well, crap. Now we need to make double beds. Um, what we're going to have to do first, before all of that, of course, is uh, start making homes. So we'll probably start doing that over here. We'll make a, uh, a housing complex and uh, start moving people out of the barracks, which, you know, I really kind of actually could just turn this into... Uh, well, I, we'll probably turn this into the, the production hub then for a while. Um, I think I can fit probably all the production buildings in here, or the, the structures, the, uh, the furniture in here. So I think we'll be fine for that, and uh, then we can just have our, our little homes get started. I would, as I say, like to have um, some stone bricks. So, you know, if I move that... Because I need the stone cutter table, which is not going to work. I could have it outdoors, but that incurs a penalty. Um, I could ha also have it, like, right here. Uh, man, yeah, if I move that heater, just one down, then we can get the stone bricks started to build, be built up so I can actually make marble ones. Uh, I mean, we may as well start doing that, right? We may as well start making marble homes for everybody. We'll see why not. So we will continue to, uh... Dig this out and move things here, hopefully. Is this not basic storage? It should be. Low food and low medicine. Okay, well, that's an easy thing to fix right now. We can harvest that for some basic medicines. Um, if we have to, we can harvest some food here. And we can also go hunting a turkey. And we will also go ahead and preemptively tell this to butcher animals forever. We could attempt to fight this mega sloth. I don't think we need to do that just yet. Um, and now we've got the research table. We also want to get, what, batteries? Do we want to start batteries or do we want to start solar panels? We've already got electricity, so we don't really have to worry about that. Um, potentially pemmican. I think we probably want to go battery. Um, although we could do smithing and start towards some of this for our defense. I kind of feel like we want to do this. I feel like we want to go battery, maybe solar panels, um, beer brewing. See, it's going to take forever for the hops to grow, but we probably want this to start soon. Um, smithing. Do some crafting. And the machining gets me guns, grenade. We can also go for some armor. Start getting everyone kind of tooled up. Bows. Bows will be, well... I don't know. I, I guess it's going to be a trade-off. I'm not really sure what line we want to go down first. Um, again, though, this if this is going to be my economy, then maybe I'd like to have some of that. Although, it's the, uh, the fruit. <coughs> um, I'm not sure if you can actually use the strawberries for, for wine. Obviously, this is beer brewing, so it's not an option. Maybe I'm just thinking of, uh, thinking of Dwarf Fortress a little bit much. We could also do drug production, again, for the purpose of selling it. Uh, that might be a thing. For now, let's just go with battery, though. Get that started. Uh, we have a very high-level um, individual for uh, for research, and this stuff is it's not it's not quite going bad, but it's starting to. But fortunately, we don't have a lot of stuff right now uh, to worry too much about that. Visitor, we have a visitor, Mink Mink Neckum. Okay. Uh, what is your your thing? Disturbed sleep, soaking wet, unsightly environment, and an awful barracks. Yeah, we need to start working on that. Eating without a table. Okay, well, I guess we can continue. Whoa, where, where the hell am I? We can continue um, to finish off the, the commissary here. Uh, I would like to have some actual food in storage. 
uh, first. In fact, why don't we have Grumpy? Well, I, I mean, who uh, who's better at this? Harvest resources. You know what? What are grumpy man? I need to. Oh yeah, he should definitely be handling. He's he's got a level five. So why are we not doing that? We've got at least two people in most things. Um, this whole thing is all on grumpy. But uh, furious, furious is the plant guy, right? Four. No, actually he's not. Okay, I'm gonna have furious um, start hauling this stuff indoors. Because I'd kind of like to make sure that it's going to be okay. Oh, interesting. It sets the rest of them to be prioritizing that as well. I don't understand why, when they go hunting, um, they take... Oh, that's right. Um, masochistic abrasive. Oh, okay. We, di we didn't go for the night owl. I was going to say, uh, if we had the night owl, um, I would change when they were doing things, but uh, that is not, not a thing right at the moment. Grumpy, just get closer. Um, who's the person? Grumpy. Grumpy was social, right? Yeah, Grumpy is actually probably our, our better social individual. Um, oh, hey. There we go. I need to be actually looking around the map more for stuff like that. And here we go, we've got a deer herd out here. So if we really get into a bind, um, we have that. I'm going to go ahead and have someone deconstruct that, since it's not too terribly far away. There's another one down here. Um, okay, so we'll have Grumpy come over here and trade real quick, whilst... Uh, completely missing. Your negotiator cannot hear properly because of poor health. This will affect trade prices. Oh. Well, in that case, we will cancel that. Pause a moment. Left ear has a scratch scar. Oh. Hearing is weakened. Well, who's the next best? Four and three. Okay, well, Furious, then, is, uh, busy, but... Well, why don't we go ahead and interrupt you for a moment. Uh, there's a wooden war mask. I'm not really sure what that does. Pain shock threshold increased. That's also incredibly pricey. Herbal medicine. Um, we can dig up enough herbal medicine. Food. You know, food might be a thing. Um, although, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm starting to, to kill animals. So, uh, don't need to worry about that too much. Got ourselves a turkey, and somebody's gonna cook it, hopefully. Got ourselves a squirrel, too. Why don't you get out of the rain there for a moment? Their moods are actually not very good at all. Um, eating without a table, insulted. I've been directly insulted. By who? Uh, what was the social tab? Acquaintance. Slighted. So, Matt Furious Freeman, who happens to be... Well, abrasive. Okay. Now, this is not the, uh, the misandrist, misogynist, hate everything group. Um, Chase and Furious. Yeah, okay. They need to, uh, to get going eventually. But Grumpy, Grumpy needs a little bit of something. And, uh, probably needs to be out of this damn barracks. Um, right, I had meant to finish this up. Go back to using a wooden door. Let's get two of those in there, and a floor, and we'll make this a wooden floor. And then, as far as furniture is concerned, we'll come over here to the 2x4 table. And actually, we could probably raise this up. There's no real reason to do that. And then we'll just have some wooden dining chairs built in here. And we can actually go ahead and use some standing lamps. They are a little out of the way. Let's 
put some right in here. Yeah, you know what? Actually, can I cancel? I can. I can cancel that one, cancel that one. Let's put the standing lamps kind of back here. Uh, so then we do power, conduit, have that run through the damn door, and uh, we will... Visitors are leaving because we don't know what the hell we're doing out here. Alright, since it looks like you'll be here for a while, Furious thinks you should give your faction a name. What should your faction be called? The Manifest Unification of Southwest Gabium. That seems a little bit, uh, seems a little bit much. Uh, and then we also need a settlement name. Lindsay City. Um, no, we'll call this, uh, Gaz Gaz Polis Gazopolis? Yeah. Um South of uh uh I'm not being terribly original at the moment here. There we go. Something I think something is in the middle of... Oh, yes, yeah, something is in the middle of being killed. A fox. A fox is in the middle of killing my squirrel. And I'm not well pleased by that. Where'd that lynx go, by the way? Did the sloth kill it? I don't know. Need to pay attention to stuff like that, because sometimes the... Uh, the animals will kill something, and then run off, and leave it. And what's awesome about that is that you can then go grab the corpse and bring it back... And, or the carcass, I should say, and uh, and use it for food. So we might be able to steal this squirrel away from this fox. Um, actually, I'd kind of like to try and tame the fox. It's injured. Let's see if I can't tame it. We have got so many things going on here. I really need to change my prioritization. Um, I would like, for example, to have these damn things hauled out of here. Um, let's also go back into zone and our stockpile zone, and we'll just expand that out a little bit more. Okay. <clears throat> We've got just turkey meat lying around, because I uh, apparently don't have other food items. Um, oh, let's uh, let's go ahead and take this and not have any food. That will probably help a lot. But I'm going to need other things um, in here to actually make food. Oh, and whilst we're at it, I mean, we've got the uh, electricity up and running. <laughs> let's go ahead and have a cooler. And that tree probably will also need to be chopped. Um, so that cooler will hopefully keep this place a little bit better. And this we can go ahead and grab because we will want something. Can I train you to haul yet? Oh, I, I think the cat is too small. I don't think it's going to be able to do much. And that fox, you are, oh my god, he's trying to feed turkey meat to it. Well, that's okay, but not really. I mean, we've got a little bit of food. We do, however, have uh, ibex and deer hanging around, as well as this gigantic sloth, which hopefully will self-tame on its own. Um, so if we really are in dire need of food, it is there for the taking. Um, I guess we've got some jade down here too, that'll be nice. Uh, go ahead and open that up. It's far away, but you know, there's that. We're gonna deconstruct that. So far, so good. Um, or e either that, or, or I'm doing so, doing so terribly that uh, the game has so far not decided to invade me. Granted, I've been paused a great deal of the time, but uh, yeah, th this is actually a pretty fertile map, to be honest. It's uh, pretty good for us. I am going to, before we leave here, I'm going to deconstruct one of these walls and open up the Chamber of Deadly Secrets. Team failed. Hopefully it'll stick around though. 
Hopefully it won't try and kill one of the Ibex. It's probably, I would imagine it's too small for that. So, oh shit me. Well, we have already opened up um, some some deadly deadly things. Um, this is not good because uh, I was actually hoping they were just going to be within their cryosleep casket. Um, the robots are already alive and awake, and um, I'm going to have to wait. We might be able to take one on. Where are you going? Running away. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get the fuck out of there. We need you to get back. So that the others can help out. I suppose... Mad Rat. Oh, well, that's the last thing I need right there. Mad Rat. Um, yeah, the friend is coming, uh, and I have no traps or defenses. Um, this is probably, probably going to be the death of me. I highly doubt that I will be able to create anything at the time. So we'll just get everyone kind of in as we go. Now, I can have you not fire at will, and I, that might help a little bit. Um, got stabbed a few times, and is currently bleeding. Now, I don't know how hard these are going to be to kill. I imagine quite hard. Draft. We want everyone lining the walls. Um, maybe, maybe not Grumpy here, though. We probably want Grumpy kind of... I beg your pardon? Here. Actually, wait a minute here. I might be able to utilize this for cover. Utilize this for cover. Chase. Chase has nothing, and in fact... It might behoove me to have you drop something. Um, maybe, maybe drop flak pants. I want to give some armor to these people. Uh, why don't we grab hose, and you can try. No, try to arrest. What? What? Why the hell would we want to do that? Grumpy... Grumpy did not drop anything. Okay, well that's actually not good at all. You know what? You can kind of hang out back here. Um, I'm going to force you to wear this. So this other one seems to have run off. This is equipped with a charge lance. This one... These two are... well, they're scythers, so that means they are melee fighters. I don't know what this is going to do for you. Put it on anyway. Fire at will. And, uh... Probably going to have to micromanage this one for a little bit. Is bleeding. Um, can you... You're not a doctor, are you? It does have five medical. I don't want to try and arrest. Why do we want to try and arrest? For doing something stupid like this? Why don't you come back? Grumpy... Grumpy may have to, uh... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Hey! Um, okay. I didn't realize I could just jump over the sandbags. Um... We did seem to do something pretty... substantial here, though. However, we are... Oh, they shot the cat! And there goes Chase. Okay, so this didn't work out at all. And I wouldn't expect it to, to be honest. Um, actually, you need to get the fuck out of the... Oh, we did it. We did it. Okay. Rescue Chase. And Grumpy, you're kind of on your own here. Where is... Oh my god. Okay. We're probably not going to survive the Lancer, unfortunately. Since, especially since our melee character... Actually, Furious... No, Furious has a 2 on melee. We can have Grumpy attempt to run in and charge. We're going to have to probably do something melee against that. Uh, I highly doubt we're going to survive otherwise. Um, Sigmund is dead. 
That is very, very unfortunate. So we got all that. And uh, so, Furious... Okay, actually, I need you back over here. And Furious is going to have to... Slowly... Furious needs help, too. Whoa, 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 whoa. That is a... That is... That is... That is going to be highly disastrous. Fortunately, this thing seems to be confounded by horseshoes. If one of these bastards survives... We hit it in the thorax. And they seem to be... There we go. Oh my god, we did it. Okay. Well, we lost the cat. So hopefully we can get ourselves another uh, new creature. Unfortunately, that uh, we, we now really need to do... Um, we change that to medical. I know colonist needs bed, but colonist actually needs to be treated better first. Um, what is her status? Blood loss. Um, she's doing okay, though. Man, this, uh, they got stabbed, cut, beat to shit. Liver. Stabbed in the liver. That's probably not a very good thing. Um, the scyther punctured furious, injuring his liver and torso. He's probably not gonna survive. Um, this is also... We should probably also do medical here. And you should probably... Oh, wait, we can, uh, No, 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 no. There we go. Rest until healed, and then have you do that, and prioritize, prioritize cleaning blood off Chase. Uh, I, oh, has no doctoring? Not, as, not assigned to doctoring. Oh, of course. So, Furious. Oh, man. This is bad. We don't need to worry about the blood right now, actually. Um... Death in six hours. Death in five hours. So we can't tend. Well, we can. Not going to be very good at it, though. Well, we're going to try. We're going to try. Okay. Uh, well, let's uh, let's move things along here. New, new, oh, okay. Got the medical kits. You want to move a little faster? I guess having to get over that damn stuff is bad news. Um, I suppose, actually, we should probably... In shock due to pain, we should probably strip him. Because... Not for lewd reasons, but because... Uh, unhappy nudity. Okay, well, never mind. Um, I was going to say because, um, when you, when they die, you know what, why don't, why don't we, uh, why don't we stop doing that instead and, uh, prioritize tending to chase. When they die, um, you can't wear their clothes because they're the clothes of dead people, but, uh, they really, they have no good, have no good, um, medical emergency. Furious. Okay, that is going to have to be you now, tending to Furious. So, is she stable? No, she's still going to die in in seven hours. Can't move in extreme pain. I'm thinking we're probably going to lose both, and it's just going to be grumpy here. Okay, Grumpy is now, or not Grumpy, uh, Furious is now stable. Extreme blood loss. So, is that, uh, does that get regenerated? Can't move, can't do anything. But, as long as we have that. 
disease and infection. Ensure you have a medical bed and a doctor. I do not. Major break risk. Major break risk. Okay. Who? Grumpy. Needs are bad. Hideous environment. Drowsy. Okay. Well. Um, this is apparently Furious's bed. So why don't we, uh, why don't we assign that to Grumpy now, who can go to bed, but, uh, is choosing not to, I guess. Is completely exhausted saving these people. Fortunately, looks like they've survived. Um, they are both in extreme... Extreme, uh... Injury. And we have no food. Okay. So... That is, that is, that is bad. That is very bad. Um, <clears throat> so we're going to have to prioritize feeding. She had some food. She's had some food. Good. Okay. This got damaged. All this crap got damaged. The scyther is dead. Dead for less than a day. Um... Now, are these actually corpses? Can we... Curious cannot walk. I mean, she can't walk either. So they are they are both <coughs> in very, very dire need. Um, we will be leaving that sarcophagus for uh, for some time. Ooh, ooh, Glitter World Medicine. And a triple rocket launcher. Man, if I had been able to sneak my way in there, that would have been the ticket. Um, so what are we doing? We're having, uh, we're having Grumpy, I guess, repair everything whilst this stuff is all going on. Um, can I not... Can I not drop the gear? I guess that sucks. I would like to have had... So what happened to the pants? Okay, you're wearing the flak pants. I would have liked to have had him do, uh, do all that. We've got medical herbs here if we need them. The, uh, th this actually probably would have, this Glitter World Medicine probably would have helped out a lot. We're going to need to bring that back soon. Um, because I'm not really sure, I don't know, can it help? Blood loss, 62%, so it's going down. That's good. Minor infection. Um, uh, okay. Well, Grumpy is, uh... Probably pretty damn grumpy at the moment, but we survived. We survived a major mistake. Um, so I'm actually going to continue, continue going through this colony and see if we can do it. Uh, maybe because of that, the game will send me a visitor that can stick around or something. Um, there is blood everywhere. Grumpy is going to be busy for quite some time. And uh, yeah, what what seemed like it was starting out is a pretty idyllic and uh, very, very uh, simple beginning uh, really turned upside down because I got a little too damn curious. Uh, the uh, only times that I've ever seen these structures and uh, opened them, it, they've been in their cryo caskets. They have not been just hanging out inside here, but uh, I've never also faced these robots before, so that's, uh, that's pretty interesting. I am very curious what I can do with them. In fact, um, now we can have that dumping ground here. This takes corpses, does it not? It does not. Um, I don't know what I can do with mechanoids. I don't know. Uh, surely I can dismantle them. I would think I could dismantle them. We probably want to get them out of here, though, because they are they are not good. Um, okay, I, we've come to pretty good conclusion there. There are still medical emergencies, but I think uh, I think we're doing okay. Might have problems with the food. A little bit of the, the health packs here. We are going to need some vegetables here. Uh, I might want to prioritize him getting the berries so that we can at least do that. I've got this set to simple meals, correct? I did not. I did not. Oh my god. Because I swapped it out and then I forgot to put those in. Oh boy. 
Okay, well, hopefully now he can make some simple meals and we'll get back on course. But they survived. They survived so far. Um, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty crazy. Okay, well, um, I mean, they survived. The, the cat didn't. Did we? Oh, my God. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Oh, the cat did not survive, but we'll go on to uh, help the colony survive the circle of life. I'm going to end this one here. I will see you next time.